Howdy folks, BC here, you're watching Deuce and Guns, and I was just about to start reloading some new 300 blackout ammo for my AR-15, but it turns out I'm almost out of bullets. So before I can reload new uh, 300 blackout ammo, which is my subsonic uh, 30 caliber load, I'm going to have to cast some new bullets for it. So I've got all my casting set up out here for, uh, for use, and I'm going to bring you guys along and show you the ropes of my casting setup what I do, what I don't do, and why. Now, before we get started, let's go over some quick safety rules. Number one, do not wear synthetic clothing. I have a 100% cotton t-shirt. I'm wearing jeans, which is denim, 100% cotton, and I've got leather shoes on. There is nothing on here that is synthetic because synthetic melts, polyester melts. So leave that leisure suit at home. You're gonna be casting some 800 degree lead here. You do not want that splashing on you and melting that onto your skin. You want cotton, which burns, and does not melt. Safety item number two is safety glasses. Make sure you put those on there. And the third safety item is gloves. Now, some people wear gloves, some people don't. If you do choose to wear gloves, choose leather gloves. These are great, these are awesome leather gloves. Do not get the trendy mechanics gloves for casting lead. Again, these are synthetic, these will melt. So you'll have a bulb of liquid molten lead and liquid plastic stuck to your skin like napalm. You don't want that. So, these are great for working on your car. These are great for tactical insertions. These are not great for lead casting. Use leather gloves if you're gonna wear gloves. Personally, I don't wear gloves because it really kills the dexterity of using these molds. So, I don't go with gloves, but if you research this, lead, solid lead like this, actual solid, non-organic lead, will not absorb through your skin. So, Keep your hands out of your nose, out of your eyes, out of your ears, and out of your mouth, and you are fine. And make sure you wash up afterwards. I almost forgot to show you my fourth item of safety, which is my ventilation system. Now, usually you should be next to a window with a fan blowing out. Well, I'm in a bunker. I don't have the luxury of windows. So, what I've devised here, let me just slide you out of the mount here on the tripod, and you can see, let me just zoom out a little bit, and you can see I've got a metal dryer vent here with a adapter right there to kind of nozzle it up a little bit or nozzle it down. And then I run that across the ceiling over to the tiny little window that I have at the top. And attached to that is actually a booster fan. That right there is a booster fan for an HVAC system. And I just plug her up. And I am golden with a little bit of, basically it's an impromptu fume hood that sucks pretty much all of the noxious fumes straight out of the bunker. Now let's test the ventilation system real quick and you can see the flames being sucked right up the ventilation shaft so that is good to go. And we are good to go ahead and turn on our melting pot. And remember, this is a melting pot, not a smelting pot. You melt lead to cast bullets from, you smelt ore to make lead. So smelting is making the metal, melting is to use it for your casting purposes. There's no on or off switch on a lead melting pot, you just plug it in. And now there is a dial back here that does not correspond with any kind of temperature. It's basically low to high gradient all the way up to, I believe, nine. So I just put it right in the middle and let her sit for a little and bit. while I'm waiting to heat up, I'll go ahead and make some new 300 blackout brass. Now at a nice toasty 600 degrees per the Lima thermometer, which I do recommend you get a thermometer for your lead melting pot and just get one made for casting purposes for bullets because they, they're not that expensive. You can use any manufacturer out there and they will be just fine. Now we need to go ahead and flux yet that material there. Got a bunch of junk in there because these are just basically cast wheel weight lead. Now I'll leave a link at the end of this video that will take you to the video where I take the used um, scrap wheel weights and actually melt them down for ingots of lead that I will melt in here. And I'll make these little ingots right here. Let me see if I can focus on that. You see the WW right there. That stands for wheel weight lead, which means I know exactly within a slight little margin of error what these will harden up to, which will make perfect rifle bullets. Now at this stage of the game, I want to go ahead and flux the lead. So I've got a piece of paraffin wax here. You can use a candle, you can use whatever you want to, it really doesn't matter as long as it's wax. Beeswax, old candle from grandma's funeral, does not matter. Just take a little piece, I just shave a little sliver off that and toss it in there. Let it melt. That was a little bit small actually, let me go ahead and throw a little bit more in there. And stir it up. 
Sometimes it'll catch fire, sometimes it won't. But notice, if you look at the, uh, the actual smoke going up through the air and being sucked out of the bunker, my evacuation, my air evacuation system is working perfectly. And also, this is just a random fork that I just stole from the kitchen. And it always remains, look at all that junk. All that dross that will come out of there is basically just dirt, grime, oil, whatever it is, does not need to be going into your bullets. And a fork I found works really well because it actually strains that out. The actual, if you get it hot enough, the lead just falls right off, no problem. But the dross, all the junk in there, will still stick to it. Old stainless fork. Can't beat it. Well guys, that's pretty much my entire casting setup here. I'll have a link it in this video of the next steps once I actually get it uploaded. And that'll be where I'm prepping the bullet mold for use and actually casting the 30 caliber bullets intended for the ever so silent but deadly 300 blackout round. Well guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go ahead and subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, as always, go ahead and leave that in the comment box below the video. You guys have a great day. See ya.